fam welcome back to my channel it's reset wednesday this is when i uplift encourage help you motivate you to get over that hard hump we call life so if you are new consider subscribing and hitting that bell next to it make it ding so you won't miss a thing all right let's jump into it for today's reset the topic will be radiate now, hence the nails, hence the cape blazer. But I wanted to set the tone for radiate. Now it's summertime, so the sun, the temperature, everything is a season of radiation and thriving. And I want to encourage you today to radiate through life. Some of us, you know, we kind of dimmy down and things like that to mm, feel that insecurity of others. Sometimes we radiate so bright in the Lord, <laughs> but it intimidates others. I want to take away that responsibility from you. It is not your job. It's not your job or obligation to help soothe somebody else's ego because you are great. No, you don't turn down your greatness because somebody else over here sees your greatness and shies away or is envious or jealous of you. No, you crank that bad boy up. Don't be arrogant or cocky or overconfident, but keep being you. How dare you dilute yourself? Like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that in 2020. You do you and be great and keep radiating. Now, to radiate, you do need to bring a bright perspective to things. How can you radiate and you dwell on negativity? You have to remove those ideals, those falsehoods and in that negative energy away from you. It could be you, it could be your thoughts, it could be your deep beliefs, how you feel in your heart, it could be your struggles, deal with those things. But if negative energy is coming from other people and outside forces, remove yourself, rebuke the enemy. But God will expose those people that is trying to rain on your parade that's over here being a silent hater or amen corner on your downfalls no 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 let's not dwell on them we know they're there but let's not dwell on it let's peacefully silently distance ourselves because we can't make room for debbie downers and negative Nancy's. We cannot in 2020. We have enough going on. Now, it is our responsibility to shine God's presence, His light, His encouragement upon the world to others. You don't have to explain and preach people down. Just be a light. Just be yourself. Do what's right. Be happy. Be joyous. People will feel the presence of God without you announcing it every 10 seconds. So please remember to radiate in your communities. Radiate to these young people that's coming up, that's just graduated or, you know, have an achievement going on to maybe a divorcee, maybe to the homeless or someone who's lost their job or radiate in their presence, not throwing, overthrowing your success in their face, but being joyous where they will be inspired to be great again, where they hope again, they believe in themselves again. That's what radiating is all about so and hang on hold on to happiness radiate in your beliefs in your own time it can be difficult especially in 2020 but keep hope alive <laughs> not to be so cliche 
but radiate in your alone time. That's when the enemy, he attacks the most when you're alone. You need to radiate in God's presence. You need to bask in the great things that you are expecting that has happened in your life, that's gonna happen in your life. So anticipate and radiate in all the bright, hopeful future that you have coming in your life. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see you radiate in these streets. And yes, that is the conclusion of radiating today. Well, CC fam, I hope you all enjoyed. You are inspired. You pumped up. You joyous. You ready to face the world today and this week. Always remember that confidence is a lifestyle. And don't you dare walk out the door without it. I love you all so much. And I'll talk to you next week right here next Wednesday for Reset Wednesday. All right. Love you all.